This video is how to replace one of these things in uh, the Mercedes 2005 Mercedes E-Class. It's a cabin air filter with activated charcoal. And this man filter is what Mercedes uses. It's sold by Amazon. And while I got something on Amazon, this was like 22 bucks, something like that. 20, that wasn't bad, I don't think. And I got this too at the same time. You know, so I got the free shipping. So I got that for like, uh, it was like eight bucks. So anyway, let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so so here's the car. So you got you need a car to do this, and you need the filter. And look at all these leaves and stuff. It's been blowing like crazy today. Beautiful day. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Except for the loud cars and trucks could go by, which I can't stand the loud cars and trucks. But let me get to it. Okay, after you open the hood, go over here, and there's a little little doohickey here you press, and you could see this right here. Press this thing in, and you do it on the other side, and you can put the hood straight up for the service position. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, you got the one on this side too. And see, you put the hood back up and I'll show you. Put the hood almost straight up. Gives you ample room to work on it. You see it's a pretty breezy day today. It's going to get really cold tonight like maybe 40 degrees but while you got it all open you want to clean the leaves and stuff and pine straw and whatnot out of this um, this area here this is the drain for the cowl drain and there's a hose that comes from there right here and that goes underneath the um, canister here that holds the filter and then that hose connects to the fender here and I'll show you that once I take this out. The only tool you'll ever need is this. It's a, uh, a ratchet. This is a cheap one, but it's pretty good. And 10, 10 millimeter socket. And you take this uh, bolt out right here with that with this thing here. Take it out. Okay, with that bolt out, you could take this cover off. It, it, it just tips straight up like this, it tips up, there's little clips here, it looks like there's a clip here, it's not connected, and there's like a little clip over there, so let's see if we can get it up loose, just kind of wiggle it a little bit, and there it comes, so you, you open this, and it pivots on the, the hinge is also a latch, so you could take it out, there's your filter. It looks pretty good for not being changed for three years. And that's like that. That's what it looks like. Now we can put this down here on the ground. Don't step on it. And this is the hose I wanted to show you here. Now there's a, there's a slight kink in there, but I found out that this was clogged um, uh, last uh, couple days ago, and I found that. This hose was disconnected and it was disconnected here where it goes into the fender and because it was shoved down there's a big kink in here so I put the hose back say so I already did this job I, well I didn't replace the filter because I just got it but I already opened it up a couple days ago just to look at it and to see why this wasn't draining see got more pine straw in here but I just wanted to point out that the water flows down that pipe and goes into that fender that sticks into the pipe and there's three clips here that hold that so this kink that you see is actually the big kink that was there so maybe after a while this hose will uh, start to uh, kind of on kink a little bit but anyway since I got the new filter I'm going to put it in 
and replace this old uh, dirty one here. Well by the way you want to make sure that there's no leaves or anything stuck in the little fan turbine here. You can kind of take a look at that. Looks pretty good. Okay here's the new filter. Took it out of the box. Here's the man filter. They even give me directions here. Look at that. They give you directions how to do it. Should probably look at it. Uh, okay. Uh, old filter. Uh, new filter. Yeah, okay. Put it back in and push it down. Okay, good. So what you do here is you just kind of use your fingers and all, and you you pull the you pull the filter out of this retaining plastic thing here. And it looks like there's a there's a plastic thing that goes around here too. So you got to reuse that apparently. See that? There's a, there's a plastic thing that goes there. Well, I was wrong. You see this plastic this is must be the original filter. This plastic here is part of the original filter. So you take that whole thing out. It's a it's a fairly heavy piece. Weighs about a pound. And that's probably because it's all dirty too. There's plastic around it there too. And then you put the original the, uh, the new man filter in. And what I did was I checked the instructions here. And uh, there it shows you. There's the old filter with the plastic around it. And here's the new filter, which is just made out of cardboard. So uh, okay, that's how they do it. So when you put the new filter in, they made it foolproof because there's an angle on this dumb thing. So you put it in, you put the bottom part in first, then you push it in, and it, it hooks underneath this plastic hook here, like that. And it's just a paper filter, son of a gun. It's paper, it's impregnated with charcoal, but it's just cardboard now for the new filter. I guess that's how they make it to, you know, save the environment. They don't use the plastic anymore. It's just cardboard. You know, I guess. Man filter is supposed to be for a Mercedes, and that's what they're doing now. Well, by the way, you see this here? That's, that's the backup battery for the electronics. The battery that starts the car and runs the car and all that, that's in the trunk. And this, this little guy is the uh, backup for the computer. How, how cool is that, huh? Anyway, what we do is put this thing back in here, canis this uh, structure, whatever you want to call it. You hook it on the back of these uh, these hooks here. There's like hooks here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Let's see, it grips in those little teeth, just like that. And then the tricky part here is to get it past the windshield. The windshield washer thing for the reservoir. You push it down and it clips kind of on the sides there, sort of. Not that good though, but it kind of clips a little bit, holds it. But the main thing that holds it is just that one nut, so we're going to screw it back on. Well, by the way, you can see why this drain hose has a little kink. The drain hose has a kink because it presses right against the bottom of this. Uh, this retaining case so maybe not the best design huh hey Mercedes what's going on you, you Germans what's going on man you supposed to have the best but it actually pushes on that hose a little bit and puts a little kink in it but it's just such a small kink and I had tested that and it drains really good so that's not a problem but you think they would have designed it a little better where it, where it wouldn't make a kink in the hose so anyway let's um Let's screw this on here. First the ratchet. Tighten this thing back in. You don't have to kill it either, just you know it's just a plastic nut, so you don't want to ruin it. Okay, now we're gonna carefully close this hood. And you know what I found out on this? You gotta, I found out you gotta close it from this side. And you have to kind of press this thing in 
so that it allows you to close the hood. So let me do that with the two hands. Just carefully close it now. You can hear it click back in position, those little those little depressing things clicked into the right place. And then you just close the hood very easily, let it drop. And there you go, it's closed. Okay? okay, now since I got the filter in, and uh, I'm going to test it out. Got this guy here with his Happy Fraulein. So I think just putting the uh, activated charcoal filter in makes makes you a really lot happier. He's smiling. He's having a good time, and she's practically like on top of him here, pretty much driving. I don't know how he's even concentrating driving, but you know they're a lot happier since they. They put the activated charcoal filter in, so hey, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, now you start this this uh, bad boy up here. And... Let's see. Let's see how it works here. Turn these, turn these things here, right here, make it go on your face here. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. Yeah. Nice, fresh charcoal filtered air. Very good. Okay. Now you pat yourself on the back for doing this and you just save a lot of money because you did it yourself and you didn't have to have a dealer do it. So that's it. Have a great day. Take it easy and... Uh, have a good day, good night, uh, take it easy, bye.